Okay, today I'm going to show you my new natural gas powered refrigerator slash freezer from the 1930s that I have acquired. So I haven't unloaded it yet. I'm waiting for my dad to help me unload it. It's about 400 pounds, um, but it works off of natural gas. Okay, my dad and uncle just helped me unload this fridge out of my truck. So here it is. It's from the 1930s, I believe. And it's already cold in there a little bit, and I haven't connected it to the natural gas yet and lit the flame in it. It came with the original enamelware storage containers, and this one for desserts. And here is the back of the fridge. The refrigerant used is ammonia gas. So the natural gas flame heats the ammonia gas and then this is where it condenses and everything. But um, on the opposite end of where the flame is, it's the coldest part of the system. And down here is all the mechanics and everything. There's the gas regulator. That's a mechanical temperature control. It looks like it lights right there. That looks like a pilot light right there. To test this at first, I'm going to hook it up to a propane tank. Um, ammonia gas is known um, to be explosive when exposed to high heat. Also, it's very toxic. So that's why I have it outside at first. Okay, I haven't connected any propane to it yet, but I, I'm looking at the entrance to the gas line right before the valve, and it looks like it's like has a lot of dirt in it. So I may need to take all that off and clean it. Okay, I couldn't find any gas line to fit this. Um, currently, I don't have one on hand, so I'm going to back this out right here. I've already loosened it. I'm going to attempt to put this threaded thing in there. Okay, now I'm going to need some of that yellow um, Teflon tape. To seal this so this valve i'm going to be threading on there um came off of this old heater um which i use sometimes um what's interesting about it is if you look closely there you can see the swastika but that wasn't a bad symbol back in the day that was the symbol for good fortune in germany before the 1930s okay i did not have any teflon tape so i just mixed up some flour and water to make some bran um, which is what they used to use in the 1920s to seal the pipes on a moonshine steel. Okay, the valve is holding pressure. That valve is off, so I'm going to turn it on. And then I'll light the fridge and we'll see what happens. So when I turn on the gas from the propane tank, this pressure regulator sounds like it's uh, leaking gas. Um, I think there used to be a cap right there because it's leaking out of there. And you can hear it now. Okay, I'm gonna give that a second to clear out and then I will put a cap on there and we'll attempt to light it. Okay, I've lit the gas refrigerator. Um, it leaks at that connection right there, so I'm going to tighten that. Um, but that's the main burner right there and that's the pilot light. Okay, here's the burner right here. Um, and there's the connection that was leaking. Okay, the gas flame is lit. Um, now I'm going to leave it on for a minute and see if it gets cold in the fridge. Actually, before I run the fridge for a while, I'm going to disconnect this and run it under there so I can put this cover back on. Then I'll relight it and connect everything back. Okay, I've reconnected everything. Now I'm going to turn on the gas and relight the flame. Okay, now I'm going to put this cover back on as soon as I show you all the flame. Okay, the fridge is on, or lit. I never thought I'd say that, but it's lit. Let's adjust the temperature. Okay, that's on cooler. Okay, that's where I want it. Okay, we'll come back later and see if anything's cold. So this fridge is gonna take one or two days to cool down. Um, and I read somewhere that a 20 pound tank of propane will last a month powering this. 